Hello folks, welcome to a tutorial on Build X. Today we're diving into a super cool and very useful GIS skill, extracting building footprints using data from Google Open Buildings. If you're looking to portray cities or do urban studies based on density, morphology, etc., or just an architecture fanatic, this is a must-know tool. Let's jump right in. I'm very excited for today's video. Okay, so first off, what is Google Open Buildings? Google Open Buildings is a free platform that provides building footprint data for locations around the world. It offers precise geospatial information on the shapes and outlines of buildings, which can be used for various purposes, including urban planning, architecture, and geographic analysis. The data is derived from satellite imagery and is available in a wide variety of formats, making it compatible with GIS software. Okay, so next, what do we need? To begin with, you need the shapefile of the region that you want the building footprints of, for example. Here I have the shapefile for the administration boundary of the city of Udupi in India. If you want to know how I got this file, please check out the video given in the description. So back to this. The first step is heading over to the Google Open Buildings page. Just search for Google Open Buildings on your browser and you'll land on this map-based platform. It's an awesome resource with global building footprints you can download and use in your projects. Click on Explore to view the map. Here, you'll see global building data, and it's all free. Okay, now click on Explore the data in Earth Engine. Scroll down until you see a bunch of cool-looking nerdy codes written, and click on Open in Code Editor. Hmm, now you have to use your Google account to log in. Okay, cool. Okay, now click on Scripts. Here they will ask you to set a username and name of the repository. I'll just name it Buildings. So now we have to go ahead and create a file under the repository, like so I will name it Google Buildings. Now click OK. Now we have to go to Assets and upload our shapefile into it. Here I will name the asset to the file as Udupi. Please remember that this is the name that you should be putting in the code that I will share with you guys. Now click on Select and select all the files, except the one with the Adobe Illustrator file extension and click on Upload. It takes a while to upload, I will skip the wait times in the video. You can see the ongoing tasks under the Tasks section on the far right. Okay, so now the upload has been completed. We will click on the task and click on View Asset. Let me show it to you guys in comparison with the QGIS file right here. As you guys can see here, it is the same. Okay, cool. Now hit Close and reload the web page so that we can load our asset into the script. So now as you guys can see, the asset has been loaded and is being shown right here. Okay, now head back to Scripts and open the file we created before. Okay, now all you gotta do is copy the code that I have given in the description and paste it back into the repository that we just created. Okay, good. Now we have to go back to our asset and click on the arrow on the right with the script open so that the asset loads into the script. Now you will have to tweak it a bit according to your location. Now all you have to do is change the names in these places in the script that I am showing to the name that you gave to your asset. Since I had saved the asset as Udupi, I will do the same in the script. Just check everything once more and click on Run. The task will come up on the Tasks tab. As you can see, all the buildings in our specified area has been loaded. Now click on Run from the task. It will ask you to set a name, the folder in your drive, and the file format.
Click on OK, wait for it to load, and done. It will take some time to load all the buildings. I will be skipping through the wait times. It generally takes a minute or two. OK, so it's done now. Go to your drive file and that particular folder, and we will have our shape file there. Now download the GeoJSON file. We will be loading this into QGIS. There's a separate detailed tutorial on how to do this and stylize it. I will just fast forward it in this video. Time for us to load it into QGIS and convert it into CAD or vector files so that we can use it for illustration purposes. If you need a tutorial on that, please find it in the description. And boom, now you have a layer of building footprints right on your map. That's all you've just extracted building footprints from Google Open Buildings and imported them into your GIS workspace. This tool is fantastic for architecture students. It can help with site analysis and urban design studies and even generate cool maps for your thesis projects. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment with any questions or ideas for future tutorials. Keep designing, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.